Howdy everyone, Ice Fluffy here, aka Stallion, the one and only sexy horse and giver of hands. These hands are rated E for E-Boy. Come get you some. Today I am bringing you an overpower build for the Golden Claws and the Nether Lice Chain Blades. However, before we get started, I would like to ask that you please leave a like and maybe a subscribe for your boy. It really does help me out in the long run as YouTube's new algorithm makes it harder for content to be found. Without further ado, let's get started. I also want to apologize in advance for the horrible Strikers and Chain Blades gameplay. I am not a Strikers or Chain Blades main, however the build is still very good and overpowered. To start off you will of course need the Golden Claws and the Netherlice Chain Blades. Here are the best talents for the Golden Claws. You may pause the video if you need to, and also here are the best talents for the Netherlites. As with my previous build video for the Firestorm and Netherlites, the armor you will be using for this build is the exact same. Yes, this will be the new meta, so please get used to it. You do need to have all of the armor maxed out for this to work properly. The armor pieces you will need are the Thunder Deep Dress Helmet, the Nesaga Chest Piece, the Thunder Deep Dress Gauntlets, and the Nesaga Boots. As for the Omnicell, I chose Discipline, however you may use whichever one you like. Also, as with all my builds so far, no tonics are needed in this build, but you can use them if you want to. You should have all of the cells here on the right. You will need all the cell slots open so that you can put 6 of the carved cells in them. So how do you use this build effectively? You use this build effectively by starting with the golden claws and getting all of your mantras and buffs. Then you may switch to your nether lights for slashing damage. I find it best if you first use the golden claws to place its legendary ability on the behemoth, then switch to the nether lights to also place its legendary ability on the behemoth, then switch back to the golden claws to work towards building up the adamant bolt. As per usual, since you are using Assassin's Edge and reuse cells in this build, the more parts you break, the more crit and speed you will receive. If you are going against an Embermane or a Behemoth that loves to start attacking you with its boop attack, then I recommend you use the Golden Claws first and use the Legendary ability to put it on the Behemoth for an easy boop. Well that is all for this video, if this build helped you then let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Take care now.